Hello. Hello. And welcome. Welcome. Today we have a refreshing beverage, <laughs> or hopefully we do, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Something different, something a little out of the norm. <laughs> yeah. Olipop. The strawberry vanilla flavor. Yes. And we've seen, we've mentioned this gentleman plenty on our channel, uh, Badlands Chugs. Badlands The, the great uh, Badlands <laughs> Booker. Has, has done a couple of Olipop chugs, and we finally have seen it in our area. Truthfully, we've seen it a, a while back, but it was a little expensive at the mm-hmm, time, and mm-hmm. now it's, it, the price has gone down, which is good. Yeah. It's affordable, and apparently it's not just a soda. It's a... Like a... It says sparkling tonic on there, but it also has, like, prebiotic stuff. And it's, it's supposed to be good for your digestion. Yeah. It supports digestive health. Yeah, gluten-free, vegan, paleo-friendly, non-GMO. It's very, very healthy, it mm-hmm, seems. Mm-hmm. Um, supports digestive health, mm-hmm. like like we said. Mm-hmm. Plant-powered <laughs> and microbiome approved. Three, three grams of sugar per can. Mm-hmm. It's got uh, everything you need. Yeah. 35 calories, 16 carbs. I don't believe there's any caffeine. Uh, 7% juice, did you say that already? No, I haven't. No, yeah, well, 7%. there we have. <laughs> and I want to dig into this. Yep. Because I'm very curious. Me too. And I've had things like, um, what are the, I, I totally forget what they're like called. Like the, like sparkling waters? No, not sparkling water. <laughs> I'd know what that's called. <laughs> um, the, why can I not think right now? It's because I need some it's, Olipop beverage. We need Olipop. Let me see. It. Let's do it. Mm. It's sweeter than I expected, honestly. Really? Mm-hmm. I was just about to say it's not as sweet as I was expecting. <laughs> it is more... It's like a carbonated juice almost. Yeah. And it does have uh, strawberry, vanilla, and a little bit of lemon... And it mm. kind of tastes like it all in there. Yeah. Not sure if I would replace soda with this. Uh, yeah. I, I think I just like soda too much. The flavor, yeah. the flavor's okay. It's okay. It's not as good as like, like a, or as in your face as like a Welch's strawberry Mm-mm. or something like that. Mm-hmm. So the thing I was thinking of, I still can't think of it even after the Olipop. Um, the, the things you would get from like a grocery store or like a fancy health food store, the... Oh, kombucha? Kombucha. That's the one. That's also prebiotic stuff. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I was expecting this to be more like a kombucha. Mm-hmm. And it's, thankfully not, those are very, like, vinegar, sour flavored. Yeah. Yeah. Very fermented. Yeah, and this is very mild, so if you're not interested in in the kombuchas and you just want to get something that's a little bit more in the ballpark of standard soda juice beverages, this is pretty good. Hmm. I mean, the strawberry vanilla flavor is there, but it's it's kind of weird to they, me. <laughs> they were two seventy nine each, so per can. So mm-hmm. do with that information what you will. <laughs> um, for us, it seemed like a a good thing to try because we wanted to 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 see what all the the buzz was about. We did, yeah. And now we know. Now we know. I don't particularly love it. I don't either. Um, <laughs> It's okay, yeah, but it's definitely not like uh, something that I would crave or something that's like yeah such a unique flavor that it's like only exists here. Yeah, it, it's mm. it's it's a very uh, it almost tastes like a diet drink. Yeah, it tastes just like yeah a little bit like off like that like just like um you know but I mean I'm glad we tried it because now because <laughs> now we know now we know yeah uh, we also purchased the vintage cola mm-hmm. flavor mm-hmm. so we're gonna try that out probably in one of our upcoming videos yeah. we just the store we had actually had a pretty big selection mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. they had the root beer the grape soda the orange the orange and the two, the two that we purchased mm-hmm. but worth a try yeah if you're interested in in something to help your digestive health or whatever and you don't want to go for that punch full of kombucha because those are very harsh and they're very intimidating they're like in a big glass bottle yeah. and yeah yeah they're their own thing for sure not like this at all yeah i believe that what is it like carbon or uh, like you said like fermented tea yeah like that's what that is mm-hmm. i actually really enjoy kombuchas Th- there's there's a couple that i like but for the most part i'm 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 not huge on those yeah no 
sandwiches for you. <laughs> None for me, thank you. Anything else you'd like to add to this proceeding? No, well, not at all. There you have it. <laughs> there you have it. Another review in the bag. Popped in the bag. Uh, yeah. Like Orville Redenbacher. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. We will. Bye. Bye. <laughs>